Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back on Angel Mountain. Farm Sim 22, 16 times map. Huge, huge, huge challenge. We're over here at the Clover Field. We're just picking up some hay here with the helper. And in the background, we're putting down a layer of fertilizer to get the Clover Field back ready for the next crop. Let's head over to the main farm and go get a load of sheep. Um, I can drop this off right here, this trailer. This episode, we're gonna see, I think we're gonna be spending time with our wheel loader, doing one of three different tasks, <laughs> depending on what our how the weather holds up. It looks like we have some snow in the forecast. If we get snow and if that sn snow collects, We'll probably spend a little bit of time collecting snow um, out by one of the fields so we can just dump it in one of the field silos. If it doesn't snow, then I want to get the, our uh, silage bunker filled up behind us. We have a bunch of grass to go fetch over at one of the farm silos. But I'd love to get another batch of silage cooking. And then um, if we have time, I believe the mammoth mill is close to running out of iron. So we need to mine some iron too. We'll see if we can squeeze that in. Well, that's gonna depend on how the weather holds up. Oh, while we're heading over to get sheep, I actually wanna stop, because we have a new um, crop of clover that we just harvested, I'd like to purchase these other two apiaries and get them loaded with clover. So let's buy these. I think they're super cheap. We own that one already. This guy, yeah, 25,000. Let's buy these. These take crates and clover and they give us honey and wax. We don't have a lot of crates. That's where we're a little weak. But uh, at least I can get these things loaded up with clover while we're bringing it in from the field. Yeah, this episode we're gonna get a load of sheep. Next episode will be cows again. I'll meet you over by the animal dealer. Or actually, I'll meet you back at the, um, at our little sheep shed well, when we're unloading the sheep. All right, here come the sheep. Drop these guys off. Take a look at the animals here in a second. Yeah, let's take a look and see. Yeah, while our animals are doing here, we've got, uh, these are our beefer cows. And just recently we filled the TMR, I think last episode. These guys should be loaded up, or not TMR, this is, um, this is just hay. I filled this up actually between episodes, topped it off. It actually took quite a bit. Um, so these guys are doing good. I filled up the straw not too long ago as well. Our most mature beef cows look like the ones we just had. They're still only 22% of the way through puberty. So we'll let these guys grow kind of slow. We're going to use these. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we're going to use these cows mainly for the slaughterhouse to get our meat products. And then um, we may, once we get up to like 1,800 of these things or something, we may be able to start selling these uh, directly for profit too. We'll see how it goes. Sheep, let's see, our most mature sheep here are halfway through puberty, it looks like. And they are starting to produce a little bit of wool, tiny bit. So we'll keep scaling it up. There's quite a few here. I'm not going to add it up. What is that? 80, 200, almost 300, looks like. And then here's our dairy cows. We bought two batches, 12 each, of um, the younger ones. These guys are just now starting. And then we bought 12 of the most mature ones. And these guys look like they're probably just starting on this reproduction timeline. And then, as I mentioned, we just loaded this up with TMR and straw. So these guys are good to go. We'll be getting more. Next episode, what we're going to do is get, we'll get 12 of the Angus. We'll get the young ones. And then we'll get 12 mature Holsteins and 12 um, young and Holsteins. That's my plan. 
just to kind of control our costs. We have lots to do. Let's look at how the greenhouses are doing. We eventually want to sell off all that produce. Oh, they still got a ways to go, unfortunately. I don't want to take truckloads. We have thousands of truckloads to make during this playthrough. So I want to kind of restrict myself to full loads. So we want this to get up to um, 200,000 before we start hauling all this produce. Um, but that's all right. We've got other things to do. Let's take, uh, let's hop in here. Look up to the other trailer. And then we may start getting grass. Are you not disconnecting? There we go. Yeah, I already started loading the silage bunker. But there's a lot more room. So we're going to go fetch grass and then use our wheel loader to compress it. Also, between episodes, I made some more TMR and just put it into storage. I think we have close to a million saved up, but we are going to chew through that once we get a sizable herd of dairy cows. They are starting to produce milk, but just a tiny bit. We only have 12, I think, that are producing milk yet, or so far. All right, let's take a look at the silage bunker. I'll show you where it's at. Well, that's how much we have in there. I think it's actually compacted. Yeah, 99% compacted. I just used the wheel loader to do it. Let's go get some more grass. We'll do this in a time lapse. I'm going to go get this from the field silo just because I know we have about a million leaders out there. So here we go.
All right, there we go. 100% compacted. Almost 200 and no, 2. Point, almost 2.2 million liters of uh, compressed chaff. Let's head out of here. We emptied the field silo. I can't believe it. It was about a mm, couple dozen trips or more to bring all that grass over. But man, that's a big job. Uh, but this will be nice to have uh, all this silage later. Let's get this covered. Boom. And let that do its thing. Very, very cool. The uh, wheel loader did a pretty good job uh, compacting. It was faster than I thought it would be. And I'm guessing this weight may have helped a bit. Um, while I was doing that, I did take a look at the used vehicle market, and I think there's something I want to get. I'm not so concerned about shallow cultivator or this spader. I wonder if this is a special spader. Yeah, we don't need it, even if it's for grapes or something. I don't think we need it. We already bought it. Um, but this guy right here, this two-row billet planter for sugarcane. Eventually, we're going to need to do sugarcane. Let's just see what it says about sugarcane. Single row billet planters, 54,000. Um, I think the one they just showed us is a double row, right? Two row billet planter, 58% off. Um, let's look at planters. Oh, is it under sugarcane? Maybe I don't see it here, right? I'm looking. Okay, sugarcane technology. Yeah, this two row planter is the best planter in the game. Let's get that. I'm not going to use it anytime real soon, I don't think. But that's a deal 58% off. Let's take it. We have some we have some discretionary cash, I think. Trying to save up for uh, vineyards. We're going to make some massive vineyards here. But let's buy this while we have a deal available. What else? Oh, we didn't pay off our little bit of debt. Let's do that. Oh, I forget. One, two, three, four. Six, six, six. Uh-oh. 6.6 .6 million. Um, let's look at the fields and get an idea of where, get caught up on where everything's at. This should show up all fertilized now. Yep. All right. That is our clover field. That should replant on its own. It's fully fertilized. This is our, this is our poplar, right? It needs rolling on. It's showing that it does need rolling. I think I actually did roll this field of poplar. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually did roll this. I think I'm going to leave it. Pretty sure that's our poplar. Let's just double check, make sure. Poplar, yeah. Boom. Boom. And then we have wheat, wheat, and barley here. And then next door, we have a field planted with um, hemp. And then up here, we have our sugar beets. Let's look at where they stand growth-wise. Super early for the sugar beets, early for the hemp, early for the poplar. And then we've got one wheat field that's getting a little closer. And then we have a wheat and a barley that have a ways to go yet. And then our clover field is showing that it's been harvested. That will automatically cycle over and show us replanted. Let's look at the greenhouses, see how much progress we made on getting those up to 200,000 liters each. Still have a little ways to go. 11,000 liters needed for all of these, almost 20 for some of these. And then I think the greenhouses are a little further behind. Yeah, we have some still at 150. That'll probably be the next day in game before we start selling everything off. Um, let's look at the mammoth mill. I think we're probably entirely out of ore. Yeah, we're out of ore. 
Coal, eventually we're going to have to replenish coal here. Sand is needed as well. Let's, um, I think the next thing we want to do is get to mining some ore. Let's, um, let's get this guy repaired. I think I'm just going to drive the wheel loader over to our repair shop nearby. We'll get this guy repaired, refueled, and probably power washed. And then we can get this loaded up on our low loader trailer and maybe head over to the iron mine. While I was doing the silage bunker, we did get a pretty good snowfall, but it didn't collect, so we don't have to shovel up snow. Kinda happy about that. Cloudy currently, and we have sunshine in the forecast. It'd be nice if we had sun for a while, at least when we wanted to plant the grapes. I don't really want to plant those vineyards uh, if it's snowing. It just seems kind of unrealistic. I mean, we're going to be planting vineyards in January, which is probably unrealistic on its own. But hopefully we'll have nice weather when we do it. Um, it is going to take a lot of in-game and real lifetime to uh, empty out all those greenhouses and make all those trips. Just doing the silage bunker in real lifetime, that was four hours. <laughs> four hours of hauling materials. But uh, I actually don't mind it. It's kind of fun. Let's refuel. May take a minute. I think this guy's kind of slow to refuel. Not too bad, actually. And then we'll run up, power wash this guy. Doesn't look that bad. I think the snow actually does a bit of cleaning. I think this guy was a lot worse in the middle of the job. Yeah, the snow must wash off some of it on its own. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Take it. All right, let's just get this guy loaded on our uh, low loader trailer. We can haul it over to the iron mine. While we're here, let me just show you where things stand as far as the 10 million liter challenge. Uh, 8 million liters on water. I'm just bringing that over from the water tower straight there. We made this water from hydrogen and oxygen. And we've got uh, 1.1 million liters of hydrogen and oxygen stored up and almost about the same amount of diesel. Crude oil, only 100,000 liters. I'm thinking of buying another uh, pump jack and using that one just for the 10 million liter objective. We may do that soon. Look at the pallet warehouse. Nails getting up there, almost 2 million. Sugar and steel doing pretty good. Barrels and... We're up to a million, and then it kind of drops off with sacks, drill pipe, paper, a few other things. Yeah, we've been able to save off a fair amount of nails, sugar, and steel. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then in our silo, coal is done. Iron ore is almost done. And then sand's getting close. And then it kind of drops off with salt and snow, grass. Still, after um, putting over 2 million liters of grass into our silage bunker, we still have 3.2 million in our main farm silo here. So we can use that to feed sheep. Or, um, I guess, yeah, just mainly feed sheep. I don't want to compost that. I'm going to wait for straw, because I think we're going to have tons of straw. We've got... Uh, 3.1 million liters of hay. I think there's probably a million liters at least out at one of our farm silos uh, by the clover field. That's all been brought in. Uh, just needs to, I mean, it's been brought in off the field. We got to bring it in off from the farm, from the field silo. And then we've got a million clover in here towards our um, 10 million liter objective. And we have a bunch of clover out at that field silo too. So we're making pretty good progress. Let's get back in the wheel loader and see if we can get that thing loaded up. Yeah, that was a big job getting that silage done. Oh man, 
that's going to be useful to us. We might sell it. We saw we were getting a pretty good price for it. I think we got $80,000 for a truckload. That's not bad. Then obviously we can use it for TMR and for our 10 million liter objective. Looks like I got to put the ramps down here before I can load this. Let's on, let's, um, this guy needs repairing too. Let's take care of that. Swing around here. Yeah, I'm anxious to get our grain fields harvested. I wish those would ripen a little bit faster. That's going to allow us to get into chickens. And um, maybe even, we might even be able to get into pigs at that point. And then all that straw, we can use compost, make some more compost out of that. Make uh, more TMR. Make forage. We're going to need 10 million liters of forage. These guys repaired. Boom and boom. I think we'll probably skip the wash for now on this guy. It doesn't look too bad. There's some dirt caked on the truck, but it's not real bad. I'd love to get this thing repainted. We'll see. If we, um, there's a production line coming up for feathers that I think is going to throw off a ton of eggs. And if it's just way, you know, way too many eggs, like we get crazy profit, I may start using that excess profit to uh, paint our vehicles and maybe do a little decorating. A little terraforming on the land, putting down uh, mature trees and making it look a little nicer. But we'll wait and see. I don't want to waste money on that just yet. Well, I know we've got extra cash. Okay, ramps come down. Let's, oh, you know what we could do? I'm wondering, I guess it's not urgent. I think this thing holds a ton. Yeah, we only have 30,000 liters of manure. I was going to shovel this up. We can just autofill, but I'm probably going to use a wheel loader to do that. There's not enough in there to worry about. Eventually there will be. We'll save that up for our 10 million liter objective. And then if there's excess material, excess manure, we can use it in the, uh, in the greenhouses and get some extra production. It's got fat tires. Good meat. Up at the ramps. Strap this guy down. All right. Next, we're going to head over to the iron mine. All right. We're here at the iron mine. Let's unload the wheel loader. Get this guy over by the deposit, and then we need to go get a different trailer so we can actually haul the iron. Lots of iron. Boy, I've mined a ton of this, and we have a ton more to mine. That's that. Let's uh, tab into the truck. Ramps up. I'll go get the trailer and I'll meet you back at the iron deposit. All right, we're coming back up here at the iron deposit. Get our truck into position. Anywhere along the pile is fine. Uh, what I'm going to do, this is going to be a time lapse. We have a lot of iron to mine, like over a million liters to fill up the mammoth mill. And then we also want to put some into storage. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to take two loads to the Mammoth Mill and then one load to our farm, farm silo to work towards our 10 million liter objective. We're pretty close. Let's look and see where we're at on that. For iron, we need... Where are you? We only need, what, 632,000? 632,000. We might hit that just in this process. Like I said, we'll do two loads to the Mammoth Mill, one load to our farm silo, and then I like to mix in trips to our farm silo to empty that grain. We have a bunch of clover way out um, 
by our Cloverfield Field 21. So every load of ore that I take to Mammoth Mill, I'm going to leave Mammoth Mill and go out to that farm silo by Field 21, pick up some clover, and drop it off at one of the new apiaries that we bought. So we'll just get that into the mix. So, you know, here we go with a lot of iron mining. Right, this is our last load of iron ore. Oh man, did we haul a lot of material there. Let's get this dumped in our farm silo. And we can take a look at our um, production line. All right, let's check out the mammoth mill. Down here. You can see our iron ore is pretty much topped off. 950,000 liters. That's all brand new we just put in. And then along the way, we delivered a bunch of clover over to our new apiaries is this guy. So a little over half a million liters to that one. And same thing delivered over here. Um, we need to get crates into this, um, into the new apiaries. We'll do that to kick off production here. We'll do that in a second, actually. But yeah, brought in over a million liters of clover from that far away field silo. And then the other thing we did, if you look at the ore over on the bottom right, we just met our 10 million liter objective for the iron ore. I threw in a couple more loads so we'd cross that threshold. So we no longer need to bring iron ore to the main farm silo. Still have plenty of iron ore to mine as part of this playthrough. But at least we don't have to bring any more to the main farm silo. That one is knocked off along with the coal. 
I'm going to go get this trailer and truck repaired, and then we're going to go fetch those crates from the carpentry mill. We don't have a full load, but uh, we'll split what we do have between the two new apiaries and get that production going. That's going to get us more wax and more honey. Get this guy repaired and this guy repaired. And then I have a one last task or a couple more things I want to do before we wrap up this episode. And man, did we get a lot done. Filling that silage bunker. That was a huge task. We're going to have over 2 million liters of silage waiting for us once that all kind of ferments, is finished fermenting. And then we got most, like I said, most of that clover back from the uh, field silo into our two new apiaries. Oops, let's give this guy a wash as well. So yeah, we're getting real close to being able to do the grapes. Um, once we finish washing this, we'll take a look at the production in our greenhouses and orchards. It's getting close to being at 200,000 liters. In fact, between episodes, I may start selling off some of that material or some of those that produce and delivering other stuff where it needs to go, like the cherries and bananas need to go into the drying mill. Probably take a load of strawberries over to the bakery. And then I think we've been saving apples, so I'll put some apples into storage for a 10 million liter objective. And then next episode, hopefully, hopefully we can start on grapes. That would be awesome. Hopefully if the weather holds up and we don't get snow, I think we'll be able to do that. Um, we may have some things to sell uh, next episode as well. Let's, um, let's pause here for a second and take a look at where the greenhouses and things are at. These guys, we have some that are like at 160,000. It'll be a while, but a lot are getting real close to 200,000. So we have dozens of trips to make. These guys, 195, 191, those are real close. 180s, high 80s, high 80s again. And then our orchards, yeah, real close. So like I said, between episodes, I may start selling some of that off because I've got to make dozens of trips. And then we'll see where we end up money-wise. Right now, we're at just about $3 million. We're going to sell some stuff. Uh, before we end this episode too. So we'll see where we end up. But man, I think once we sell all that produce that's sitting in our greenhouses, I got to think we're going to get over 6 million. And uh, we'll use a lot of that money for vineyards. We'll go really big, put down tons of vines. That's going to give us a lot of kind of quote unquote field work to do. Once we get that down, we'll have to do, I think, subsoiling and maybe fertilizing once we put the vines down. And then after a game day or a month, we'll need to do some mulching and a second application of fertilizer. And then we should be good to go. Wait for those things to ripen up and we should get tons and tons of grapes. Uh, initially, we'll be putting those into our drying mill to make raisins. And then later on, I think we make vinegar and wine and all kinds of stuff from grapes. And then the raisins, I think, go in things as well. I think at the bakery... The bakery barn takes uh, raisins for some of its products. All right, let's get our kind of pallet trailer here. And first, go get some crates out of the carpentry mill so we can get those two apiary production lines up and running. Like I said, that'll get us more honey. Honey is used right now at the bakery and our nut house. And then it'll get us wax too. The wax we're going to use for crayons, and then there's like a some kind of wax figures we're going to be able to make later on, but we need people before we can do that. And then if we have extra cash left over, and I'm hoping we do, there's a bunch more I want to buy. So in terms of businesses and things. Whoops, wrong parking lot. Let's uh, go over to the carpentry mill. We'll be coming to the mammoth mill in a minute or two because I do want to sell the glass jars out of there. And then I think we're going to take some drill pipe over to the oil rig. This is what I want now. Carpentry mill. Make sure my auto load is on. And let's grab. Yes, we'll grab all of the 
crates. Go full pallets, 37 full pallets. And let's get these over to our new apiaries. All right, I'm going to unload these, I think, in the middle somewhere. And then maybe hand feed them to the two apiaries. Let's see what we get. Uh, that's fine. Move the truck out of the way. Actually, maybe going forward is probably better. Let's kind of split these between the two apiaries here if we can. Let's see. Two at a time. All right. Thought I lost track of one. There it is. All right. Good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. We have both of those up and running. Let's make sure those production lines are turned on. Apiaries are near the top. That's our old one. We have tons of clover in that one and lots of crates. And then these are the new ones. 80,000 crates. And the production looks like it is on. Storing, storing. I think I'm going to set the honey to spawn. Whoops. Not what I want to do. Um, Where is it? Honey, output mode, spawn, and then same thing here. Take the honey, output mode, spawn, then we can just come pick that up. In fact, we might do that right now. We've got some honey next door in the apiary that we've had for a while. Let's load that up, take it to the nut house, and then there's some more stuff I want to do. Let me check my auto load. Let's get that going. Get this honey. There may be more coming. Let's, uh, let's check. Yeah, there's one more. There it goes. It just spawned in. Take this up to the nut house since we're close by. Heard me. There's 40,000 more liters of honey into the nut house. We're going to produce honey faster than these businesses can um, make use of it, but that's fine. We'll save it up once we fill these industries up. Okay, that is that. Let's head over. I know there's some glass jars we can sell. Let's do that. All right, we're at Mammoth Mill. Let's get some glass jars and get these things sold. I think we have quite a few. Let's see. It's one trip or two. Looks like it's going to be one trip. These always sell at the hardware store for the best price. So we'll make a run over there with these guys. And then I've got one more trip in mind to sell some things. All right, almost a hundred grand for those glass jars. They never disappoint. We've made a lot of money off of glass jars. We're gonna to continue to do so. We need the cash. All right, the last little run I wanna do here this episode is we need to take a drill pipe over to our oil rig. And then up at the oil rig, we have plastic pellets, I think, plastic that we can go sell at the um, oil press and get a good price for it. And then right near the oil press, we've got the sugar mill. And I think there's a couple loads of molasses that we can go sell at the Wonder Worm. And that is super profitable. I think we get about 150 grand per load 
on that molasses. So let's do a couple runs from Mammoth Mill to the uh, oil rig, oil press, and then um, the sugar mill, and then the Wonder Worm. Do a couple circuits, see where we end up cash-wise, and we'll call it an episode. Let's get to it. All right, that's our last load for this episode, 152,000, and that brought us just to just under 3.6 million. Not bad, man, that is awesome. We get such a good price for plastic at the oil press and um, molasses here at the Wonder Worm. It's gonna be hard for me to want to buy those businesses anytime soon and give up those sell points, because man, we get good prices. So yeah, we're at 3.6 million. We'll end this episode here. Let's just take a look at our production lines. All right, here we go. Apiaries we just saw. Uh, we do have a bit of wax actually that we could haul. Probably gonna store this, not sell the wax. We have plenty of other things to sell. Uh, nothing going on at the bakery barn. Uh, does this take raisins though? Let's just out of curiosity as an input. Yeah, this is one of the businesses that's gonna take raisins. Incidentally, this marshmallow, um, we are going to swap out our sugar mill once it is done processing what it has in it. So here's our sugar house, I guess we call it. Once these sugar beets are done processing, um, we'll end up using up all these boxes, I believe. Got this set up so we use all the boxes. But once this is all exhausted, these sugar beets, we're gonna sell this business and place a new one that actually also gives us that marshmallow product because we're going to need that. But what else? Back to the bakery barn. Yeah, nothing there. Carpentry mill, we won't sell anything out of here. I think furniture is built so slowly. We're just going to store that up once it gets to 200000 We won't sell pretty much anything out of here for a good long time. Drying mill, we don't have anything to sell yet. We got to wait till these get up to 200000 we might sell them, we might store them, I'm not sure. 
Greenhouses, this is what we're interested in. Uh, pineapple's getting close. Mustard's getting close. The rest we're going to have to wait for a bit. These guys are all getting close. So yeah, I'm going to work through the night, so the in-game here. And then if these guys come up, I'll start selling them. Um, Mammoth Mill. We have some steel we could store. Jars are going to come up again. We'll sell those. Nails I probably store. Sacks I store. Not much else going on there. Nut house. Yeah, that's going to be a while. Old Man's Mill. May start storing these. I keep talking about it. I'd like to start building towards our 10 million liter objective on these things. Later when we get grain, we can look into doing this feather duster. We need to produce feathers at a new business, but that's kind of in the back of my mind too. Orchards are super duper close. Probably start selling those between episodes for sure. And then I've got some hydrogen, oxygen, and diesel we could sell. I just stored 100,000 liters um, of each of these for a 10 million liter objective just in the course of doing this episode. Kind of stored those off camera. So we're slowly accumulating um, those three products, but we're going to produce so much excess that we can afford to sell a lot of that. And that's mainly because, as I mentioned before, this dye produces so slow. It's a byproduct. You only get like 25 per batch when you make diesel or the plastic. That's going to take a while for us to get up to 10 million liters. So we'll, as a result, we have a bunch of extra diesel, hydrogen, oxygen, and plastic that we can sell. Uh, sugar house we just looked at, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll do some selling between episodes, may move some things into storage, and then hopefully when we come back next episode, we can start working on vineyards, and we'll see how much cash we have. Like I said, I gotta think we're gonna get north of 7 million, and that might be more money than we need for vineyards. If it is, there's a couple things I'm thinking about. One... I'll show you, look at the map, up near our farm, we have in this olive grove and this vineyard, we're going to grow olives and grapes the hard way, the more traditional way. This is an easy way to do it. What I'd like to do is, um, let's actually visit there. What I'd like to do is buy this chunk of land. I think it's 400,000. Look, farmland. It's this one right here. 441,000. I'd like to buy that land. Unfortunately, we'll have to buy these businesses before we can delete them. So buy them, delete them. Then we'll have a big plot of land here. I'd like to actually put down four new greenhouses. And uh, I mentioned a few episodes ago, there's a couple greenhouses that will give us, I think it's carrots and red cabbage that we don't currently have in our existing greenhouses. Uh, and if we put four new ones down, we can get those two products. And the carrot and the cabbage is gonna be important for us later to actually produce people or produce workers that we're gonna need for some businesses. So that's a project. Buy this plot of land for 440, buy and sell these and buy four greenhouses. I think the greenhouses are about 80 grand each. That's probably, I don't know, $750,000 project by the time we're done, maybe a little more. That's one of the things I want to do. And then the other one that's been on my mind, and we talked about it, is uh, getting into the stone business. And that would involve buying this land. Here's the stone mine. We don't need to buy the mine itself. But we just need to buy this land so we can harvest the stone. Let's see what that's going to cost us. That's pretty cheap, 400 grand. And then we probably want to buy this plot too, number 20. That's only 70 grand. So what is that, 470 grand? And then there's a business there. Back. This guy, stone processing, we would want to buy. And visit that and see what that's going to cost. Another 155,000. What does that take us up to? Close to 700 grand. And then there's one more business to buy that's in our production menu. And that is the wash plant. Way far out this way, I believe. And it's easy to spot. It's pretty 
small pitcher. There it is right there. The wash plant. This is only 55,000, but we need land to put it on. I'm thinking right next to the stone processing somewhere. Boom. And that would get us in the stone business and get us a lot of new production lines. This one is one, two, three, four. Four new production lines for the wash plant. And then the stone processing itself has one, two, three, four, five materials too that we would need, including lime, which is kind of neat. We won't put that on the field. We'll probably just store it. But I wouldn't mind getting into that business. And we got a huge deposit of stone. We can start mining right here, it looks like. We just need to buy that land. But yeah, that's like, I don't know, maybe 800,000 by the time we're, we're all done to get into that business. So if we have extra cash, that's what I'd like to start working on. But yeah, tons to do. We got a ton done this episode. All that silage, all that clover moved. And man, all that iron put into the mammoth mill and into storage. And we met our 10 million liter objective on iron. So not bad. Uh, with that, I'll leave it here, and I will see you all in the next episode.